I wasn't sure if I was going to read or not. Dragon Seeds! Came out a long time ago. Uh, shit. This game needs at least one memory block. And I don't have my... Freaking... I don't have a memory card in there. That is actually a PS2. That's a PS1, because it's a PS1 game. I might have to... Excuse me. Oh, that's right. Square button. This uses a weird control scheme. And of course I'll just... Put in MJ, because I don't think I can put in Mystic Warrior in enough space. So you start out with a dragon already, and you can actually buy the equipment that he has. This guy is an asshole. No. He says he'll make his dragon stop immediately if it gets too dangerous. That's bullshit. This battle has no time limit. And basically acts as a tutorial. So, yeah. You enter two commands. Up and down R command. Up moves forward. Down moves backward. O does a shield. Or no, O is your physical attack. And X is your shield, I think. Nope, I'm completely wrong. It's square that's your shield. And the X button is your special. Because it's been awesome since I played this. Now, if he uses a special, I can show you what the um, shield does. If he uses it on a turn where I actually do that. Um, intimidate happens automatically if you step back when you're at maximum distance, or if you hit R1. And what intimidate does is it increases the amount of damage you do. Yeah, this dragon is supposed to die here. And I lied, there is actually a time limit. Um, if you somehow manage to survive this, it still treats it like as if your dragon died. So, a lot of this information is going to be old and also wrong because I'm trying to remember as we go. So the Clone Lab is where you can generate a dragon. Now, you don't generate a dragon by, like, choosing, like, vials or customizing a dragon or anything. You do it in a very unique way. Basically, you make sentences with select words, and that generates your dragon. The only thing you get to pick outright is what type of dragon you get. So we go to the cloning lab and we speak with this dude, who looks like as if he's from frickin' Rome. He says there are six dragon species that you can choose from. There's actually eight. You have to have encountered the other two before you can generate them. Anyways, the first thing we can do is choose a dragon. Saurian is basically your typical dragon, the one that you saw at the beginning is a Saurian. Winged Saurian is just a variant that actually has wings. They tend to be rather cute. Beetles, if you don't know what a beetle looks like. Wasp, if you can't imagine what a, what a wasp dragon looks like. Crustacean, you would think they'd look like crabs, and they kind of do, but they also kind of look like jellyfish. So it's kind of like a combination of two. Uh, Natura, even though they're called Natura, they're actually mechanical looking. And it's weird. Um, the other two, if I unlock them, are called Evil and Spirit Dragons. Evil Dragons are my favorite. My second favorite actually being the Saurian. And the funny thing is, the Saurian, or 
Oh, the, sword. the evil dragon actually turns into my favorite mutant dragon, which is something we'll get into later. And I don't like any of the other mutants. But the one for the evil dragon is freaking hilarious. Also, a cool thing is that you can choose a species, but you don't know which version of that species you'll get. Because there are two variants. There's the main species, then there's a the subspecies. In the case of the Saurian, the main species is actually red, and the subspecies is, is a blue one. Now, depending on what you put in, it's more for stats than anything. It's like, see? You get, the, you get a bunch of words you can use. And you can choose whatever sentence you want. It doesn't have to make any sense. Like, I could say the end is near, and that would generate a dragon. We'll actually see what it gets. I think it gets a mostly strength-based, muscle-based one. Um, muscle increases your physical damage, as is kind of implied. Um, wisdom in this game actually increases the likelihood of you evolving into the final form and not into a mutant form. Now, the thing that it doesn't tell you is it doesn't tell you the elemental attribute of your dragon, which is important. Fire beats electric, electric beats water, and water beats fire. Although, typically, the water element is actually not water, it's more like ice. And there are some monsters... There are some monsters. There are some dragons that can only be one type. Nutura is one of them. It can only be electric. Crustaceans can only be water. Um, I believe the wasps can only be water and electric. The wing Syrians can be electric and fire, I think? Or maybe they can be all of them. Beetles, I believe, can be fire and electric. Evil, I think, can be fire and electric, or maybe it's fire and water, or maybe it's all three. Spirit is kind of similar in that regard. And of course, you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name him Corbo, because why not? Okay, that doesn't mean a damn thing. Also, this guy is not all that important. Apparently, Corbo is an aquatic Saurian. I would not be surprised if he comes out blue. Okay, now what he does here is he will actually boost whatever attributes you decide to choose. Now, keep in mind you can only do this once. And then you can leave the dragon in here for training until it actually becomes a mature baby. Now, he mentions that if you don't pick it up in 24 hours, it basically can cause problems. Um, you can leave a baby dragon in here for as long as you want, and it will grow and develop. But the only problem is it's not going to be very powerful in doing so. Apparently, this memory card is also a PS2 memory card. Let me swap some cards around. Shoot. Shoot. Because I know that the one I currently have in the second slot is a PS2 memory card. It's a PS1 memory card. Anyways. There you go. There we go. Anyways, this is the place where you go in case you want to switch out equipment. If you want to rest for the day. Resting does absolutely nothing other than progressing time. When you progress the day, your monster, your dragon, rather, your dragon ends up gaining a little bit of weight. There's a chance that it could evolve, but only after a certain length of time. And sometimes stats go up, but it's like very minor. You don't want to freaking raise a monster by just resting. Give me a second.
click. Okay. So it's been 24 hours in game time because we rested for a day. And this will allow us to go and check on our child. Also, everything you do takes about three hours in game. Okay, he say, he's, she says wait a little bit longer. So that means that we got here a little bit too early. But see, every, everything takes 12 hours to do. Or not 12 hours. It takes three hours to do. Okay. How, how much longer do we have to wait? Jesus. Anyways, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the shop. Now, what she does is she basically gives you equipment. Now, your character can't equip it, but your dragons can. Now, the thing is, is you need to make sure that you um, equip both a reflector and a um, weapon, because they won't let you battle otherwise, so you could actually soft lock. But I'm pretty... Actually, I'm pretty sure there is a safeguard for that. I think if you don't have a reflector... You can go to Pablo's, which is another place we can go. And he will actually say that your monster looks pathetic without a whatever you're missing. And then Birkin just gives you one for free. But it's the lowest tier one. Which you would have seen in that list. Okay. I gotta remember that's the square button. The controls were. Okay. Real quick, I'm gonna go to the apartment because there are some settings I need to set up. Okay. Input limit. There you go. Also, going to your apartment does not cause any time in the past. Only going to other locations does. Wait a little bit longer. It's been 24 hours. I just rested, did I not? Also, after you, um... After you spend 24 hours wandering around, it automatically, um, progresses you. I might not have rested. That might have been the problem. Because I forgot. Okay, now we can go here. Then she tells me that I have to wait a little bit longer. Okay. Let's go to the nursery. Find our little buddy. Oh. So, we regenerated a red one. Which is perfectly fine. Um, one cool thing that this game has. If you go to the bio bank, you can freeze your dragon. And when you do so, there is a chance that if you select the, um, if your dragon dies, if you select the biobank slot that the dragon was in, you can actually regenerate that dragon as it was at that point. It would not have any, um, gear, but it would be pretty much the identical dragon to what was registered to that slot. They'll mention something about there still being some data left from the dragon. Anyways, so, in this case, since I already got the weapons and reflectors, you can go and just equip them from your apartment. Now, we're going to go and visit Pablo. We're not going to be able to do anything quite yet, because his stuff is a little expensive. Or, not, not Pablo. Um... Pablo, I'm getting my places confused. Pablo is a gambling den. Now, certain characters have certain mons, certain dragons. And you have to have a minimum amount of gold for it. Shade is one of the people you do want to fight because he has a, um, has a spirit dragon as his dragon. Keep in mind that the dragon will always be of the same tier as you. So if you go in here with a baby dragon, they'll use a baby dragon. If you go in with an adult, they'll have an adult, etc., etc. They when the dragons are a little bit stronger than the official ones, but this is actually the best way to make money is through here cuz if you bet like a thousand, you get 2000 back. But the third um, the third battle actually allows you to change the bet. This guy, Ashuka, he runs a junk shop. 
He will have random items for sale, and some of the best gear in the game is specifically from here. Also, he tends to be a little bit standoffish and rude. Now, this place... With the sad music and everything. If you want to release your dragon, which basically deletes it, you can release it here. There is another feature that comes into play later that looks at your memory card in slot 2. And that allows you to generate specific dragons. There are dragons that generate automatically, but it tries to generate them based on what's on the other card. I'm not actually gonna release my dragon because my dragon hasn't fucking done anything yet. Anyways, training center is exactly as it sounds like. It's literally a training center. Um, the training here basically allows you to train different stats. This muscle training, I used to be really good at it, I'm not sure if I can still do it, is basically you get blindfolded and some candles go across the screen that you can't see, and you have to time it to hit all three of them, which sounds more difficult than it actually is. Special is basically find the um, correct symbol, and virtual is literally a sparring match against a shadow of yourself. Dying in this does not actually kill your dragon, so if you run out of health, it doesn't matter. I'll be mostly doing this, though. I'm just trying to remember what the button is. I think it's the O button. Okay, you can actually set this to higher, but I prefer to keep it at 5. Oop, a little bit too early. You have to do this in three sets. Oop, closer. There you go. The amount of Increase is based purely on how well you do. Yeah, that's how, that's how you increase muscle. If you want to increase your dragon's speed, which increases its evasion, then what you want to do is you want to um, do the sparring, the virtual training, because that's the only way that that's going to happen. And you basically increase your speed by moving forward or backward. You can also gain stats in actual battle as well, like training against them. Um, not training... Battling in official battles or in the um, or in Pablo's, both those allow you to earn stats. You're basically earning stats every single time your dragon does something. Even resting earns you stats, but it's mostly weight. So if you want your dragon to be a fat ass. Anyways, 
So the battle arena is exactly what it sounds like. This is where you actually do your battles and stuff. So yeah, I went to that by accident. Basically, there are four divisions and each of them have five subdivisions. And you earn money based on which division. You can technically jump to a higher division within the thing. Like, I could do A if I wanted to, but it's probably better for me to do E. So yeah, you're going to see a crustacean dragon for the first time. Also, the music in this game is fucking killer. Also, you can see the reason why I wanted to be able to see how many special they have. It literally makes the combat a lot easier. Also, missing attacks does not actually harm anything. Like, you're not going to lose stats because you miss. The only problem is because you choose two actions first, um, the person, the monster could actually move out of range of your attack, move into range, use a special when you're trying to taunt, that kind of thing. Like right there, he moved back twice, where I could have actually hit him if he was actually closer. Oh, I forgot to mention that doing the taunting also increases your defense. For a little bit. Not that defense is actually a stat in this game. Whoop, he dodged that. That's not good. Yes, my dragon does know how to use his breath weapon. Also, that orange beam from his sword slash was actually a critical hit. And this music is actually the music that plays when your dragon dies, but because the disc is fucked up, sometimes it plays this instead of the actual victory music. So it's just the game reading it from the wrong part of the disc. So yeah, aqua dragons, or aqua wasps. Like I said, if you can't imagine what a wasp dragon looks like, then you need to not overthink it. Wasps look exactly as you'd expect. They look like giant wasps. Also, I should explain a thing about reflectors. Reflectors have a percentage on them, and that percentage just basically indicates how much of the damage gets reflected back. If a reflector has higher than 100% reflection, that means it not only reflects the damage back, but it also amplifies the damage that it reflects. So if something has like 135% reflect, that means it's doing an extra 35% damage on whatever the enemy would have done to you normally. Uh -oh. This is not going to end well if he decides to hit me with a physical attack. Or uses special enough times. Granted, he only has two more uses of it. Now one more use of it. You can see why I said that aquatic is more like ice than anything. Now, should time run out before I actually manage to kill this dragon, what will happen is whoever has the most HP wins, unlike in Monster Rancher where it's based on percentage. Also, in case both dragons um, happen to get killed at the same time, or if they have the same amount of HP, that becomes a loss. Well, it becomes a draw, 
if it, if they have the same HP. If they um if they happen to kill each other, then it's a, it's a loss. If it's same HP, it's a draw, which still might as well be a loss. And again, playing the wrong music. I'm not even sure if it even can even play the um, correct music anymore. Anyways, this Saurian may actually be blue, but it's probably going to be a um, red one as well. Uh, nope. I thought it was blue. It's actually green. Blue is the um, winged Saurian, I think. But yeah, this is the variant. Of the Saurians. I always gotta make sure that they use all of their breath weapon prior to me trying to do anything, because I don't want to get hit by it. Whoop, he dodged that, and. He's going to keep moving forward every single time I move back now. Not every fight has to end in a death. Except for the last fight of the game, that does have to end in a death. Because if it doesn't, then it's just disappointing. So yeah, this is gonna end with him still being alive, but that's okay. So yeah, there we go. I won my first battle. I do need to actually get more health, though. Poor thing. That's another thing that increases with um with time is overall health. Do 
Like, theoretically, I could go to Pablo's and try to earn money. Show off how that works. I think I need a hundred minimum. Actually, no, fifty is the minimum. The battles are almost identical. Basically, becomes a rock, paper, scissors game. Except that scissors beats freaking two of the different things you could do. Also, in case you're wondering why I'm not using my special, it's because I'm expecting him to use the reflector. Also, I should mention that taunting also increases your special temporarily, too. Which is a good reason to be very careful about using it. The special, not the taunting. Yeah, I knew that was good. There we go. Kill the dragon. This is the music that's supposed to play when you win. That's the actual victory music. I was wondering if the game was even capable of playing it. Yeah, you get kicked out every single time you complete a battle. Because time progresses. Now, of course, I could keep doing that and keep getting newer and newer items that way. And it's probably the better way to do it, because the difficulty doesn't progress unless your dragon evolves or something like that. We'll do some more Pablos. You have enough money? No, I just came in here for fun of it. I can't remember what Vixen is. I'm gonna frickin' battle Shay, because I'm pretty sure that he has... Yeah, he has a spirit dragon. So let's show off what a spirit dragon looks like. Um, I can't remember what the secondary one looks like, but the primary one looks like a lion with a um, mermaid tail. Oh, this is the bull one. That's it. This is the other one. So there you go. Yeah, spirit dragons. Upon encountering one and actually completing a battle, preferably without your dragon dying, um, you can actually start making spirit dragons. And spirit dragons are fun. They follow the same elemental rules, but they're unique in their look and stuff like that. And if I could find an evil dragon, you'll find out why they're my favorite ones.
freaking you moving backwards is not helping you, buddy. Continue to train your dragon well. You killed mine, so fuck you. Unfortunately, I cannot remember who actually uses the evil dragons. <laughs> also, another thing to keep in mind is this game did have multiplayer at one point. Not online multiplayer, because PlayStation era. But, um... It did allow you to use memory cards to battle two dragons in a head-to-head -head battle. Let's see. That's a crustacean. How about you, Slash? You're in Chira. And I can't freaking battle her because she does not have... I don't have enough money. This way you guys can see what a Nutura looks like. Or a Natura. Nutura. Natura. Natura. Like I said, they look like robots. Come on, use your breath weapon. Stop being stupid. Need you to use it two more times. Or we're gonna be sitting here all day just guarding. Not sure if that's an actual taunt or if you moved backwards and you just couldn't move back any further. Hey, if you want to waste frickin' time. There you go. Now I pretty much win, unless he somehow manages to hit me. Take these hits to the face. I'm pretty sure you're gonna move back on one of these. Nope. Cause uh, I can still die if I get hit, especially with it doing 20 damage per hit. So what I need it to do is to come towards me right into the sword slash. Which probably isn't going to happen, so it's probably going to be a win by... Um, a win by um, timeout. Nope! He walked right into the sword. But yeah. This is basically the whole freaking game, is just doing these kinds of battles. My baby! My baby's hurt! Kinda makes me feel bad. Okay, let's see who's up. Is it Zach Guns? Nope, that's a beetle. Yeah. And you have the Spirit Dragon still. Technically, I could buy some better gear. Which actually is a prime idea, to be honest. Also, coming into here, she'll occasionally say something about the junk shop owner wanting to speak with me. She'll say that um, he's complaining that you don't visit him. 
if you get that message, then you definitely want to go visit him, because that usually means he has something important. She looks like she'd have an evil dragon, but apparently not. So yeah, this is the variant of the wing saurian. The, the regular saurian basically is also kind of a reddish color. On a side note, it's rarely ever advised to use your special at close range. You got me there, Skippy. Oh, and you got me there, too. That's one of the rare instances where I actually guessed correctly both times. It's not a case of me guessing correctly both times. And the wing saurian is dead. Huzzah. If I actually had more money, I could check out Pablo's, but usually the stuff he has costs at least a few hundred. There we go, it's this guy. This guy has evil dragon. You gotta see why I love evil dragons here in a minute. Also, if you think you're imagining things, no, you're not. That is actually a coffin. All evil dragons look like inanimate objects. The babies of evil dragons are a coffin and a motherfucking door. The adult versions of these are a bigger coffin and a bigger fucking door. Now the mutant form of the evil dragon is my favorite because it's a fucking cage that sounds like a bell. Every single time it gets hit, it makes a ding sound. I gotta make sure to do some damage to this guy, or else I'm gonna be in deep crap. I 
Because remember, it costs money to freaking do these. Double taunts! Also, keep in mind that the time only goes down if you do an action. So until an action is actually performed, the timer just sits there. So if you go AFK for a minute, it's still going to set the time at the exact same amount as you left it. Which is which is only being mentioned because I need to go AFK for a minute. However, I will point out that there is actually an input timer in this game, case in point. So I kind of so lied. I am gonna back up. I'm gonna use my special attack and then sword. Well, that wasn't helpful. I'm still gonna win this as long as I don't freaking do something that gets me killed somehow. But yes, the taunt for the door is just the door creaking. There we go. Or rather, the coffin creaking. Although, granted, that could actually very well be the door version, but I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm pretty sure that's the coffin. Good luck on your next battle. So yeah, that unlocks the um, two extra dragons as a dragon you can generate. And also gives me $200. Which allows me to go to the shop to see if she has anything better. The best weapons for babies, I believe, is like 300 something. Hey, if you ever wanted Cloud's Buster Sword, Get along with the dragon. Don't push it too hard. There's no way to push it too hard, by the way. It, it will not die from stress. It's a good thing the training fee is relatively cheap. Just to show off. Actually, I'll show off the special. Here. 
It's either that or an acquire. This one definitely was an acquire. There you go. That, that, that's the special attack one. It's a little bit harder, especially if your eyes are fucked up. Then of course the virtual battle is exactly what it you know, what it sounds like. The rules are identical, still three minute time limit. Also, it doesn't matter if you win or lose this, as it doesn't count towards your um, statistics. For those people that are OCD, it's like, I want to have a 100% win rate. Also, keeping in mind that the training here uses your dragon's current stats. So this dragon is literally a copy of yours. Everything right down to the stats. Also, muscle doesn't go up, and special doesn't go up unless you actually hit. Same thing with special, but I think if it's reflected back to you, it still counts. That's the intro music for the game. She gives you a breakdown of what stats went up. Like, notice how the speed went up by 12? That's because I moved a lot. Like, you technically spend all the frickin' training just moving without ever actually doing anything else. Like, I, I can actually show you if I just move. Without ever actually committing to an action. Like, if I just purely try to move, which is going to result in a lot of taunting. Unfortunately, you can't affect what your training partner does. So if I get anything like muscle or anything other than speed, it's purely due to the fact that I had, that I ended up hunting. Although it seems to be actually working with me now, because now it's starting to move forward. I've never 
actually done this before, where I just do nothing but walking backwards. So, the outcome of this will be interesting. That turns out I get like 30 points in speed. You do build it up during regular battles as well, but you don't know how much it gets built up that way, because the game doesn't tell you. Only three points in speed for that? That was a freaking waste of ten freaking gold. I did more when I was fighting it normally. Anyways, back to the battle arena. Lesson learned. Don't hey, don't do that. <laughs> don't train that way. Do the battles normally. Also, I should mention that the junk shop actually does give you stat boosting items that you can buy. This dragon's being very bold. Usually, these dragons tend to back off and spam their special first. Come on, use your specials. You can actually defeat an opposing dragon with their own special attack. If they feel inclined. This might actually be the... the regular winged Saurian. I know there's a blue one in here. Yeah, this is the regular one. Aren't they cute? Surprised she's staying within melee range. Breath weapon? Now breath weapon. Also, you see the charges up by the shield for the reflector. If it reaches zero, then the reflector just absorbs the hit instead of actually reflecting it back. And nothing major is lost in the process. Also, one thing I should point out about the music is that, depending on which stage you're in, the music changes. Like, the baby music for the battle is actually different than the adult stage. 
Oops. Ouch. I'm hoping he'll use his breath weapon a couple more times so I can reflect it back. I can't really get hit anymore. Because if I get hit, that'll put me within losing range. It's all well and good if you want to do this dance. I win now unless you decide to get up close and somehow manage to crit me. You win, but you also lose. But you win! Storm Wasp! Yay! This one will probably be the blue one. Actually, I fought against the blue one, so this is probably the yellow one. Nope, this is another blue one. Well, that's not a good way to start out. That did 30 freaking damage. Why? Because it's a storm attack being used on a water-based um, dragon. Which is why it's very important to make sure you keep your guard up until they use all of their um, special. And then start going ham. And there's an example of the reflector not being able to reflect. And here's the thing, if you think this music is good, just wait until you get into the higher cups. That's where the really good music kicks in. Especially near the frickin' end. One of my favorite songs is the one where it sounds like they're saying Caesar salad. I just killed the bug. Hey look, it actually played the correct victory music this time. Cool! I was wondering if it was, maybe it was just the tournament that freaking caused it. Train your dragon harder. The problem is it's freaking hard to freaking train HP. Let's go to the junk shop for a minute. Yeah, if he tells you he doesn't have anything, he just kicks you out and you just waste three hours. Now, I'll explain what each of these do. The fast weed, as it says, it increases your dragon's speed. The amount is dependent on the stage of your dragon. Like, I think three is the highest that I can get here. Okay, never mind. Um, the file, however, is a preset boost to your weapon. But it only uses it on your currently equipped weapon. You can't just buy it and have it used on a weapon you have in storage. So, make sure to keep that in mind. Increasing your weapon's attack power obviously increases the attack damage that you can do.
Battle Arena. Which is probably a good idea considering I'm broke. I can buy frickin' some training. But that's about it. Hey, look, it's that wasp from before. Also, there is actually a way to forfeit so you don't lose your dragon. But it's not something that they showed off in the um, first battle of the game, because they won't let you. You can pause it, but I won't let you um, forfeit. Something I may end up having to demonstrate here soon if this freaking dragon is not freaking using special. Yeah, you can attempt to use your special when you don't have any, and then that happens. Right now, I'm losing this fight. I'm still losing this fight. Oh, that got deflected. And that got deflected. Yeah, I'm gonna lose this. Once the dragon moves forward. So much for that. That's an actual loss. So, so much for my flawless win record. You do get money for losing based on what position you're in. But 40 gold is not going to help me much. Oops. Do Dragon Sages earn a lot of money? Um, that's a good question. And she asks it frequently. The answer is yes, but not at low rank. We're gonna do some more of these because we know we can increase our speed if we don't screw it up. Try to do the backing up strategy. We're gonna use the normal fighting strategy. Because I'm pretty sure you can also increase your muscle, huh? Not your muscle, your, um, whatchamacallit, your HP here too. actually increase the number of times you can use your special breath weapon, but that requires you to go to the junk shop and have the item actually pop up.
speed went up by three. Well, apparently that wasn't too good. Just easier to build up speed at the frickin' junk shop. Oops, not the clown lab. Like, I could go to the biobank and deposit my guy, but I'm gonna wait. for the lowest rank opponent, yes. So this is the other version of the wasp. The one that actually looks like a wasp because it's yellow, brownish, black. Later on, I think one of its evolutions makes it look like a Digimon. Because it looks like a little butt cannon. As it stands, it's pretty close to looking like a Digimon as is. Kind of starting. I know there's a um, a wasp. I was cutting a little bit close, had the other dragon crit, I probably would have died. Which would not have been cool. This isn't the first time, it won't be the last. Hundred and seventy two HP. Let's find another evil dragon, shall we? I believe they use the exact same version of the dragons each time. Yep, this is the coffin again. The weapons are random. The, and the gears were random. Also, the funny thing about this game is on the back of the um, case, there was a dragon that basically has a unobtainable configuration. Because there was a wasp, but the weapons do not exist. The weapon and the um, reflector do not exist or are part of a different set. Basically, they were using ones for a higher tier. Because you can't have like a baby wearing adult equipment. You can't have an adult wearing senior equipment, etc., etc. Also, senior equipment is used by, um, all ages beyond them. So, it's like senior, mutant, the ultimate dragon that you can get, all of them can use the senior equipment. Alright, one more hit and you're dead. 
That's assuming that I can hit you. Little skull inside. My secret is I don't use my breath weapon. That's my secret. Do, 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 do. Although really I should save after each one of these battles. I can't remember what dragon Junta uses. Apparently a fire surrey. Also, in this game, there's a way to trade dragons as well, but that requires two memory cards. And since apparently my freaking other memory card is not actually a PS1 memory card, which means I have to buy a new one. Three HP difference. Yeah, that would have gotten deflected anyways, there, but the thing is, I can't remember how many days before my dragon evolves. Should be soon, to be honest. Because with evolution comes a slight stat increase, too. Along with increased weight. Because everything goes up when your dragon evolves. Do 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 do. Well, then you shouldn't have been gambling it. Stupid shithead. So let's go to junk shop. Okay. Storm rocks. Completely fucking useless unless you're using a storm dragon. It will not do anything for you. If, however, you are using a storm dragon, it increases your special attack. Ironweed increases your muscle. Or, nope, that increases your HP. I'm done. Um, there, there is muscle weed that you can get. My favorite item is the um, fast weed, which I call speed weed, because it increases your speed. That's a good cocoon. Okay. Right now, I cannot use my dragon for fuck all. Because right now he's cocooned. When a dragon's cocooned, that means it's going to evolve into the next stage. Now, dragons, when they evolve, evolve on a linear path until they reach senior. Then they either become a mutant, an old, or the super dragon. Now, the super dragon is what you want to aim for, but you don't know what you're going to get necessarily. You can actually save scum. For the evolution. So if you save before it before it fully evolves, you can actually avoid getting an old dragon or mutant dragon if you're aiming for a super dragon. For right now, because I can't do anything with this dragon, all I can do is rest. I could technically clone another one, but it's not gonna do me any good. Now, my Saurian is an adult dragon. Now, adult dragons are obviously bigger. They're obviously slightly stronger. You can actually check their stats here. Now, keep in mind that because I don't have any adult equipment, I have to be very careful. Because if I were to go into Pablo's, they will be using adult tier equipment. 
So I would be fighting at a disadvantage there. Now, he mentions catching a beautiful dragon, but that is due to the fact that you can actually catch dragons here. However, I cannot do that yet because I don't have a, um older dragon. I need to evolve one more time for that. And yes, I am going to beat babies up with a um, adult dragon. I could skip, but I'm not going to because I want to get all of the trophies because you can actually see the trophies for each tier. Also, you'll notice that the weapons and um, equipment have slightly changed size to accommodate the fact that my dragon is a little bit bigger. And by a little bit bigger, I mean a lot of bit bigger. You're just going to be a dick, aren't you? Also, you may notice that sometimes the um, box turns blue and then empties again. That's me canceling out the attack that I did. Which is done by hitting the triangle button. Also, keep in mind that your dragon can still die, even against babies. That was a double crit. It's the weird looking Syrian with the single eye. breath work one last time. Thank you. forward. It's a beetle. I think this might be the first beetle we ran across. So yeah, beetles. They look like beetles. Who would have thought? 
They are terrestrial insectoid dragons. Collector, but I don't have any special, so he has so there's nothing to do about that. And I killed the baby with exact damage. of I lose, but I win, and I win, and but I lose. I will eventually win all of the baby cups. All that fun. Here's the thing about the battle arena, unlike the other places, it actually closes. Like, if you try to go in right now, it'll say that the battle arena is currently closed. I think. Yeah, registration is closed. And I don't think I have enough money to buy any new equipment for my dragon as it stands. I need because this is actually the cheapest item that she sells, which is your typical sword. So, if I wanted to buy anything, I would have to build up more funds. Same thing goes with reflectors. The reflectors I need are gonna be a little bit harder to get. I'm just trying to think. 
Unfortunately, it doesn't look like the best reflector or the best weapon is available. There is a optimal weapon for each tier. Um, the best weapons in the game, however, are actually elemental based. And granted, they could be equipped on any dragon, but they are better equipped to the same element as what the dragon is, I think. This is one of those things where my information may be wrong. See, she said, mentioned the junk shop, and that means that he has a special item. But I don't think he has it because the day progressed. Oh, there you go. See, this is an example of a elemental weapon. Unfortunately, even if I could buy it, I cannot equip it because it's not for adults, it's for senior dragons. And if you can't buy something, he tells you to get the fuck out. The reason why the training fee is 50 now is because I have an adult dragon. It goes up based on tier. Time to earn my 300 gold. So one thing I should mention is just like with the weapon where you can get a file to increase the potency of the weapon, there is the equivalent for reflectors, which is just called polish. And that increases the percentage of damage that gets reflected back by a percentage. Like I think for baby shields it's like 10% or something like that. I think the highest amount is like 150 something percent reflection. I don't remember it was 140 something. We'll find out later, won't we? Is you is or is you ain't my baby? Something, 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 bring me down. Taunt me all you want, it's not gonna make you frickin' hit me. Come on, use your special. If you want to use it up close, that's fine, but...
That was close. Next time, I'm sure you'll win. I would hope so. Although, granted, I was really close to that last time. So yeah, crustaceans. They kind of look like jellyfish crabs. Like, I think the red one looks more like a crab than this one, but the blue one definitely has that jellyfish thing going on. See if there's anything in the junk shop. Why? Because why not? Wisdom seed! That's all they do, they increase your wisdom. Which, like I said, increases the chance of you evolving to something good. You can win the baby class as an adult. It's like being a teenager and taking children's um, karate.
to go inside the crab. I see the claws are bigger on this guy. And also has spikies. Sword beat special, motherfucker. After your next match, you'll be the champion. This is the other end. Natura. Kind of looks like a rhino. Or more specifically, a um, mechanical cyclops. use your special one more time because I don't trust you with it. Thank you. Need to use your special weapon at all. There we go, that completes the baby cup. The funny thing is you can actually sell off your extra trophies. Which is a good thing to do should you find yourself in excess. Like if we go to the apartment, I'll, I'll show what I mean. See? Got the babies. And since I haven't saved in a while, probably would be a good idea to do so. Now that we got enough money, we'll see if we can't <laughs> buy at least a better weapon. So the best weapon we can buy is Jean the Baton and the freaking Bone Staff. I'm going to buy the Baton. Now, I'm actually going to keep this 
because we're going to end up having more than one dragon probably. So this will allow me to keep it on hand in case I need it. If I go to Pablo's... Keep in mind I'm going to be fighting against adult dragons now. Except they're going to have adult equipment. I'm going to have adult weapon and child shield. So yeah, that is an adult beetle. So as to be expected, it looks like a giant beetle. Nothing too fancy. Now the only thing you will not see in these battles are super dragons. You can see um, mutant dragons in here, but never supers. I think it's because they want the um, supers to be surprised based. Although I pretty much know what every single one looks like. Having played this game enough. Like, there's enough space in the um, Bio Lab to have a mutant and a. Um, there, are, there are two different versions of the mutant dragons, I think, but there's only one version of the um, super dragons. I'm so glad he didn't crit there. There you go. Well done, Dragon Sage. A long time ago, I wanted to make a playthrough of this game and upload it to YouTube. Like it was on Google for a little bit, or at least some gameplay of this, and yeah. So there's a random little factoid. Okay. I'm only fighting him because he's the guy that has the um, spirit dragons, and this will allow me to show you what the um, adult spirit dragon of the bull looks like. So yeah. Looks exactly as you'd expect, just a more bull-like kind of dude. He still has the mermaid thing going on. Still trying to use his frickin' special on me from melee range. Oop, that's gonna hurt. I think I pretty much won this. It's so unusual to hit with your special attack. Continue to train your dragon well. He's like, please stay a while. Get the fuck out. <laughs> how that works. Let's see, does Pablo have anything? Not Pablo, I'm friggin'.
more HP. <laughs> what brings me here? Nothing. I don't think I have much choice. some adults. And see how this works. Yeah, this song actually has English. Also, if you can't tell, this is a winged Syrian adult, specifically the one-eyed wonder that is the um, blue one. Of course, freaking adult wasp. That goes well, thing. You can actually find the soundtrack on uh, YouTube. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's waiting for that to for that to happen. So, yeah, th this music is the music that plays at the end of the game when you when you beat the final boss, <laughs> which is kind of weird. All right, now I just gotta beat this giant crab. Gotta hit the enemy crab, do massive damage. Yeah, it sounds it sounds like as if it's sad. But um, if you're paying attention to the beginning, um, the reason why it's sad is because you basically defeat the um, guy that killed your first dragon. So it's kind of like a bittersweet thing, because you got revenge for your dragon that you lose at the beginning, but also you beat the game and stuff like that. Oops. Really is him. It's just gonna come down to this. There we go. Now I just need to stay away from him for the rest of the match. There you go. <laughs> I almost freaking lost there. I, mean, I would have lost in two different ways. I would have lost by HP, and I would have lost because I just freaking had my dragon die. just sleep for multiple days. Actually, don't even, didn't mean to come in here. I 
Also, if you note the HP, you'll see that it's slowly going up. Like, I came in here with, like, 267 HP. Something like that. Also, this is the adult version of the alternative Saurian Dragon, the one that's green. Yeah, 267. At the end of this, my HP will probably go up to, like, 270-something. Also, yes, that dragon is carrying around a baseball bat. See, now his HP has jumped to 282. That doesn't quite help me overall because it's equipment that I need. Once again, we got the adult boss man.
will be other dragons. I'm actually gonna stop right there because there's gonna be a lot of that just me going to Pablo and doing stuff like that. I will probably stream this sometime tomorrow as well. Man, that and the fact that it's almost 11 o'clock at night. So yeah, that's always fun. So yeah, and this is the first part of this. I'll try to upload this playthrough at the very least so that there's something on YouTube about this game because. Nobody else seems to really know about it. So yeah, 